Shopping online could make you a victim of price discrimination. About 8 in 10 Americans have bought something on the Internet. Companies can use data like your past searches or location to influence the price that you pay. Anna Warner shows us that that could mean paying more at the checkout. And a good morning. Good morning. Well, if you went to your local coffee shop and you learned you'd be charged $4 when the guy in front of you was only charged 3 because the shop's been studying your buying behavior, you'd probably react much as these people did when we suggested it. That would make me feel very uncomfortable. I would hate that. Just seems very wrong to me. Whether it's right or wrong, that's just what may be happening to you when you shop online, says software developer Christian Benefeld. They know a lot about us, more than we think. Absolutely. He says companies can track virtually everything you do online, including what websites you've visited, what items you've purchased, your location, or what device you may be using. And based on that, you may get different search results and even prices. Take, for example, this sample search he did for a hotel room in Paris on Travelocity. I think people think that the price offers are going to be consistent, at least to that site. Correct. Yeah, absolutely. But watch what happens when he uses his latest invention, a device called eBlocker, that allows him to act as if he was searching from two different devices. Let's check the Le Six and let's see the prices on an iPad. $175 for Hotel Le Six. Exactly. Okay. Now he does another search acting as a laptop. Look for the Le Six here and let's see what Travelocity comes up with. Two different prices. The same search done basically at the same time? Exactly. And yet, if I am using my PC, I am going to pay... 23 bucks more per what? night. Well, that doesn't seem fair. <laughs> no, it's not fair, but that is the reality on the, on the Internet. Travelocity told us the difference in price is likely attributable to a deal this hotel was offering to customers on mobile devices exclusively, an increasingly common practice in the travel industry. It's one example of what consumer advocates call price discrimination, different prices for different people. And those varying prices aren't limited to hotels or any one site. A 2014 Northeastern University study found evidence of personalized prices on 9 out of 16 e-commerce sites, including cases where sites altered prices by hundreds of dollars. On some sites, it said users were steered toward more expensive hotels. But Benefeld says a consumer likely they won't yeah, know the exact reasons. The it depends on the retailer strategy on how to price uh, the goods on his particular website. Randall Rothenberg with the Trade Association representing digital marketing and advertising companies says there's a positive side to all that tracking companies do too. It allows them to customize offers that customers do want. I don't want to receive uh, ads from Zappos for women's shoes. I want to receive ads from Zappos for men's shoes and the athletic shoes. But to target, they all need the they all, data. They, they all need, need the data collect, about you and me. Think a better way of looking at it. Instead of thinking about data, which sounds like this ominous word, to think of it as behavioral information. They need inf interest-based information about but, but you. But it's a little creepy. Sure, sure, it's a little creepy. But you know, so is all the stuff the credit card companies and the retailers have been collecting about you for decades and decades. Now, there are ways to stop companies from tracking you. You can use uh, this e-blocker device, which basically he invented it. You plug it into your router at home, and it stops companies from tracking you on any device you're using in your home which is different than having, say, tracking, tracking software. Um, you can do some easier things. That's right, Nora's <laughs> like, taking out with me. <laughs> <laughs> it's leaving the set. Yeah. There are easier ways, though. You can clear your browser catch every time. You can use a different computer or a different browser to shop. Like, for one computer and browser, you mm -hmm. do your work. The other, you But do to get shop. the cheaper okay. price, should you use your mobile device? That's what I'm Sometimes, stuck on that. Sometimes, but then again, it's not guaranteed. See, that's the problem, is you don't really know exactly where these deals mm -hmm. are going to come up. Good to know. Thank you, Anna. Boy.